Hey, how's it going everyone? So I realized there was a few Code Wars problems that I had done before I ever thought of making YouTube videos, and I thought, why not go back over them and just post them online? So this one is the Descending Order uh, Challenge. It says, your task is to make a function that can take any non-negative integer, which is important, as an argument and return with its digits in descending order, essentially rearranging the digits to create the highest possible number. So 42145 is 54421. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open this up. So we know that whatever integer we're going to make, if we want to really like filter through it, we want to make it into a string. And then we're probably going to want to turn that into an array. So I went ahead and did n, which is their number, equals n to string dot split. Uh, the sort function is just going to go through it and use comparisons to decide how it's going to return it. So we did dot sort function ab, which is just going to compare whatever the first one is to the next one. And then it's going to return b minus a. And that's going to make it go in descending order. If it was a minus b, it would go in ascending order. And then dot join with no spaces. And then the last thing we need to do is convert it back to a number. So we're going to let new equal parse integer. I, I think we could even use number here. And then it'll be n, which is the number. And the 10 is just saying to make it base 10. So instead of returning binary, if we put 2 or hex or whatever, this is just saying base 10. It's not any multiplication or anything. Um, and that's and then right down here. We just returned new. As you can see, it's in my past solutions here, which means that it works. What I'm curious about is what happens if we do number. I'm not sure if this would work, but there's no time like the present, right? Yeah, so it worked either way. So it could be parse integer if that doesn't if that isn't as clear to you, you could just do number it's just saying it's turning into a number uh, that's literally it so that was one of my beginner ones pretty simple sorting is just going through and checking you know each thing to the one after it and deciding where they go b minus a just means it's going to go in descending order if it was a minus b it'd be ascending order and then join it together and turn it back into a number Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.